This is my collection of warthogs, goshogs, and rocket hogs from 2009 to 2019. I deem this collection complete. The only thing missing is something that you can produce by taking two sets, including Eva's last stand and another hog, and producing a new third hog. Since you can't buy it in a store, I don't consider it a complete set, and therefore I'm not missing it. Join me as I take one last look at this collection before I box it up and put it away for a while. 96805, branded as Halo Wars UNSC Warthog from 2009, had 173 pieces and three figures, two Spartan Twos and one Covenant Elite. This early Warthog inspired many of the future builds that were to follow, including the 96805 UNSC Rocket Warthog, which had the exact same set number that came out a year later. 96805 UNSC Rocket Warthog from 2010 with 222 pieces, features three figures, two Spartan II Whites, and one Covenant Elite, and comes with a ghost. This set is actually updated two years later and is called 97003 Snowbound UNSC Rocket Hog. The exact same white hog with a slightly updated ghost. 96823 Halo Wars UNSC Goss Hog vs Covenant Locust from 2009. This hog is pretty low on my list when it comes to favorite hogs, but the, uh, the Locust is a pretty uh, nice build and tall. Next Warthog in the collection is 96866 UNSC Troop Transport from 2010, featuring 165 pieces, two Spartan II figures, and a Covenant Brute. Given this set was supposed to be a transport set, you're only given a handful of figures, which I feel was pretty weak. They make up for it in the following year with the 96916 Covenant Strike set. Speaking of which, the next set of my collection, 96916 Covenant Strike from 2011, featured nine figures, one Spartan, two Marines, two Covenant Elites, two Brutes, and two Grunts. This hog is a repaint of the previous year's Troop Transport, but they more than make up for it with this great selection of figures. Next set in my collection is 96923 UNSC Rocket Hog vs. Anti-Aircraft Gun from 2011. Features 551 pieces, 4 figures, a UNSC Hazop Spartan, a Marine, a Covenant Elite, and a Brute. Mega Blocks actually reissues this set later as 97189, virtually identical. A set I never intended to buy, 96937, Eva's Last Stand or EVA Last Stand from 2011 had 169 pieces. It's not even a functional warthog and I was avoiding buying it, but I had a good opportunity to pick it up used. However, I got screwed on the figure, then I had to go out and get the real figure, and then Mega Blocks actually hooked me up with the original, so I ended up with two of the proper figure. Another highly sought after set that I have is 96973 Halo 10th Anniversary Edition UNSC Warthog, 734 pieces from 2011. Branded as set 12, it was over 2.2 pounds of bricks. I consider myself fortunate that while this was the first one I've owned, I've actually owned three of these. Sold one and traded one. What a great set. One of the oddest pieces in this collection, 96995, UNSC Warthog from 2011, part of the Metal series. A die-cast metal hog with a die-cast uh, all-metal or pewter um, covenant figure. Very slick. The hog features two removable red Spartans, and the car itself is about the scale or size of a Hot Wheels. Probably the most valuable set in my collection is the 99660 
Halo Fest Halo CE PAX exclusive edition of the UNSC Warthog from 2011. I drove over 500 kilometers on one of my vacations to trade a 10th anniversary at Warthog to get this set. Such a great set. I love it. I get offers almost every day for that Arbiter figure alone. Next in the collection, 97003 Snowbound UNSC Rocket Hog from 2012. This is actually an update of set 96805 UNSC Rocket Warthog from 2010. Pretty much the exact same white hog with a, another ghost and some different color figures. Next hog in the collection is 97011 Warthog Resistance from 2012. Features 285 pieces, three figures, including two Spartans and one Elite Zealot. And you get to build a Covenant or Forerunner structure there. If I'm correct, this is probably the first time we see some of this new design build on the hogs. Different suspension, some bars in the front, new look altogether. The most gimmicky hog in my collection, 97134 UNSC Night Ops Goss Hog from 2013. Features 239 pieces, three figures, including a Spartan Warrior, a Spartan Pathfinder, and a Promethean Night Lancer. The Light and Sounds gimmick is pretty cool, but if you're not careful after seven years, you may have some bad batteries in there. Check your batteries if you have this set. One of my favorite hogs in my collection, 97159 Halo Blue Series Rocket Hog from 2013. 193 pieces with two figures, a Spartan Air Assault and a regular Spartan. I'm pretty sure that this hog was highly inspired or a direct copy of the hog from 96923 Rocket Hog versus Anti-Aircraft Gun from 2011. Another nice oddity in my collection, 97216 Halo Micro Fleet Warthog from 2014. Features 102 pieces, you get one Master Chief figure, you get a big large uh, Master Chief helmet that doubles as a storage for all these parts and figures. Really cool, I really like this. Someday I'm going to put that helmet on something. It's a buildable element. This next set 97449 was actually the last set I needed to complete my collection. 97449 UNSC Flame Warthog from 2014, 207 pieces, two figures, one red and one yellow Spartan. Mega actually releases a new version of this set one year later as CYY44, virtually identical in every way. Next set in my collection, another one of my favorites, CNG66 UNSC Attack Goss Hog. From 2015, features 229 pieces, two figures, one Master Chief and one Arbiter. These are great looking figures with a great looking build. I love the color scheme, the gun. This is a winner. One of my favorites, top five for sure. One of the sets that ranks pretty low for me CNH06 NMPD Warthog from 2015. 213 pieces featuring five figures. You get an officer, you get two troopers, and then you get a Covenant Brute Jump Pack Trooper and a Covenant Brute Stalker. This hog is basically a police version updated troop transport. And here's actually the first Flame Warthog that I got. CYY44 Halo UNSC Flame Warthog from 2015, which is actually a reissue of the 2014 Flame Warthog. And as you can see from the photo and video, my original yellow Spartan had two of the same leg. Mega Blocks came through though and fixed that for me by sending me a new figure. One of my favorite Warthogs and the one that got me into collecting hogs, the dual mode UNSC Warthog. DPJ-92 from 2015. Loved it so much, I bought two of them. So I could build it in each mode and leave them permanently set up that way. One you 
the first one, the primary build, has, I guess, a Goss Hog type gun or cannon. And the second build, you get to build it with uh, the extra gear on the vehicle and a missile launcher. I was so impressed with the mega blocks of this era that I went back and started collecting all of the other hogs I could get my hands on. I'm a big fan of this set and the fact that they gave you parts to build it two different ways. I'd like to see more of this from Mega Blocks and from other brick toy producers. This set was a lot of fun to build. When I bought the dual mode, the other set I had bought the same time was the FDY S2 Halo Capture the Flag Arctic Warthog 2016 set. This paired with the dual mode made me fall in love with buying all the hogs. This is such a great set. The quality is great. I love the overspray paint job on the windshield, the tires. Definitely another top five hog in my book. And the winner for ugliest hog in my collection goes to FVK36 Forge Hog vs. Banished Goliath 2018 featuring 654 pieces with two figures, Sergeant Forge and UNSC Marine. The Banished Goliath is an awesome build. That's all I can say. GBW74 Warthog Security Patrol, 244 pieces from 2018. I waited well over a year for this set. It was listed a year before I got it on Amazon as a pre-order. Delay, delay, delay. And when I finally got it, it's a big yellow piece of plastic. I'm not impressed. It had gun functions like Lego would do for children. It was not impressive. Last but not least, but definitely in my top five, is GFT55 Pro Builder Halo Warthog Run from 2019, featuring 318 pieces and two figures, an Arbiter and a Master Chief, and you also get two really nice hunter figures. This hog seems to carry over all the best aspects from all previous hogs put together. Good color scheme, good build, great figures. There's really nothing I can knock this set for. And there's even something that's slightly unique with the, uh, the rear lights. They just really knock this one out of the park. It looks like they were heavily inspired or outright copied uh, FDY S2 Halo Capture the Flag Arctic Warthog from 2016 as they seem to have kept most of the best elements of that build. And now you can see why I made this video because I was bagging up all of these sets to archive them. I need the space for other builds and after three to four years of looking at the hogs it was time it's almost sad to see them all ziplocked ready to go into a bin thanks for joining me and if you like this video like comment and subscribe to all bricks count on youtube facebook and instagram thank you